So, what happens when a patient can't walk on the treadmill and also can't safely get Lexiskin for a stress test? That's where dobutamine steps in. Today, I'll break down exactly how a dobutamine stress test is done, why we use it, and when it's chosen instead of Lexiskin. Let's dive in. First, how do these two stress tests actually work? Dobutamine is a beta-1 agonist. It cranks up heart rate, contractility, and oxygen demand, essentially mimicking exercise. It's given as a continuous IV infusion, titrated in stages usually lasting about 15 to 20 minutes. Lexiscan, or regadenosin, works completely differently. It's an adenosine A2A receptor agonist that causes coronary vasodilation and a coronary steel phenomenon. And it's super simple, just a single IV bolus with a short half-life of 2 to 4 minutes. So dobutamine mimics exercise, Lexiscan dilates the coronaries. Now let's talk about when each one is used. Dobutamine is used when vasodilators like Lexiscan are contraindicated. That means not safe. It's especially valuable in patients with asthma or COPD, severe hypotension, or advanced AV block. It's also used when we want to assess left ventricular contractile reserve and myocardial viability in patients with low ejection fraction. Lexiscan, on the other hand, is the go-to pharmacologic stress agent for most patients. If someone can't exercise due to orthopedic problems, neurologic conditions, or general frailty, Lexiscan is quick, easy, and well-tolerated. In short, dobutamine simulates exercise when vasodilators aren't an option, while Lexiscan is the first choice for most non-exercising patients. But what about safety? Dobutamine is contraindicated in patients with severe arrhythmias, unstable angina, uncontrolled hypertension, or left ventricular outflow obstruction. Side effects include palpitations, chest pain, and tachyrrhythmias. If a reaction occurs, stop the infusion, and beta blockers can be used if needed. Lexiskin is contraindicated in patients with severe asthma or COPD, advanced AV block without a pacemaker, sick sinus syndrome, or severe hypotension. Side effects include dyspnea, flushing, headache, and sometimes transient AV block. If reversal is needed, aminophylline is the antidote. So while both tests are safe in the right setting, each has unique risks and patient considerations. So here's the bottom line. Lexiscan is first line for most patients who can't exercise. Dobutamine is your backup when vasodilators are unsafe, or when you need to test contractile reserve and myocardial viability. Thank you for supporting my channel, take care.